We have here the Oppo Reno5, which is supposed to be the light version or more affordable version of the Oppo Reno5 that was launched earlier this year here in Malaysia. At the time of recording, we don't know the official pricing yet of the Oppo Reno5 F, but we will keep you updated in the description box below. So without further ado, let's start unboxing this phone. So the box design is exactly the same as the regular Oppo Reno5, which is not bad. I like the design, it's very clean and I like this particular color. I don't know what you call this color, but I, I like it. So our box is a little dented from the shipping, but that's fine. I'm sure the phone is well packaged and well sealed inside. So now that we've got the wrapping off, let's see what's in the box. Uh, okay. And this should be the fluid black version. And yes, let's look at the phone first. So here you go. Here is the Oppo Reno5 in all its glory. This is the fluid black version and it's eh, pretty thick but pretty light. But we'll get to the phone a bit later. Let's see what else is in the box first. In this little packet here, we should get the case and the manuals. Yep. You get the transparent uh, silicone case and your warranties and manuals and SIM ejector. Yep. So under all this, it should be the charging brick and cable. Now this power adapter here can charge the phone up to 13 watts fast charging and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more later. And of course it charges via USB type C. Yeah, so, and that's really, oh, okay. So here's a, an interesting addition to a 2021 smartphone. Headphones. I'm happy to see it uh, packaged in a phone once again. Yeah. So now that we've got the phone all set up, let's take a look at the design just a bit. The back panel is all plastic, but it does look really nice. Very clean and simple. This, like I mentioned earlier, is fluid black. And the camera bump here is pretty box standard and it's not too uh, hefty, it's not too thick. There is a slight raise from the back panel, but that's uh, totally fine. Moving on to the display, this phone comes with a 6.43 inch AMOLED panel and as usual of AMOLED displays, colors are really nice and it's no different on this phone. But what's unique about the Oppo Reno 5F is that despite packing a 60 hz uh, refresh rate panel, it supports up to 135 hz of touch sampling rate uh, in regular mode, but in game mode, it supports up to 180 hz of touch sampling rate. Do note that I'm not talking about refresh rate, that is all touch sampling rate. Refresh rate is 60 hz. Moving on to the back panel, again, we're going to have a look at the camera setup. This time, you get a 48 megapixel main lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and another 2 megapixel lens, which is a mono slash uh, portrait camera. Moving on to the front, the selfie lens here is a standard 32 megapixel shooter. We're not really going to try out the cameras this time around, but stay tuned for our review of the Oppo Reno5 F to find out how the cameras perform. Moving on to the hardware, this phone comes with a MediaTek Helio P95 chipset, which is a decent uh, mid-range chipset, along with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. So with this phone, you should be able to play some of the more well-optimized games like uh, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile with no problems, but it probably wouldn't be able to handle games like Genshin Impact. But just to give you an idea of how the chipset performs and to show you a bit of the 180Hz touch sampling rate that Oppo claims you get with game mode on this phone, I'm just going to play a few rounds of Call of Duty Mobile. Lastly, let's move on to the batteries. This comes with a 4,310mAh pack that supports up to 30 watts of fast charging and uh, like I mentioned earlier, it charges via USB-C. There's really not much else to mention besides it comes with an in-screen fingerprint reader. So that's it for a very quick unboxing and sort of a hands-on of the Oppo Reno5 F. Again, we will let you know the uh, official pricing of the phone down in the description box below. We will get more into the phone uh, in our proper review down the line. So remember to subscribe and stay tuned. This is Victor signing off. Bye-bye.